All right, here's a helpful video on 3.1 exercises. Um, so I'll help start this off. Um, we're going to start using if statements or booleans, actually booleans on these. Um, one thing I noticed on here that's pretty cool, other than reading these, I think it starts on run code, but I always switch to assignment. Um, check this out. This is pretty awesome because you already should know about docs and like just scrolling down. Um, what I found here was pretty awesome. Uh, where was it? Oh, maybe I'm lying. Oh, textbook. If you click textbook under more, check this out. It's got all sorts of stuff with um, Booleans and comparisons. So you can read, like if you don't really remember how to do some of these things, um, you can you can look at the, you know, different Boolean operators and it's basically a textbook. Like it tells you, here's George Bool. It looks pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool that there's a textbook. All right, so back to the assignment. So first thing, it says ask for two numbers. If you forget how to use a scanner, well, go to Docs and scroll down a little and you'll see um, user input. So at the top, it already has the import. I'm going to type in this line here, scanner, scanner equals, so you're using the constructor for scanner with a parameter system dot in. Okay, so we got that. And then ask for two numbers. Um, if you forgot, you can look here. Uh, they should be, you can ask for ints. I'm probably going to do this right here. So I'm going to say int um, num1 equals scanner dot next double or next int. Right? And uh, int num2 equals scanner dot next int. Um, I should probably prompt the user they won't really know what's going on, right? So maybe um, enter a number. Okay. Okay, and then we'll copy paste this. Oops. Do it here. Ooh. And do another prompt. Okay. So we're going to prompt for two numbers, right? And then we're going to compare numbers as instructed. So over here, back to the assignment. Um, oh. I guess we could change it to how they said it under two numbers. Probably should have looked at that. I would have probably done eat one at a time, but you know. Um, okay, so on here, we're going to prompt for two numbers and then we're going to compare a less than, and we're going to compare an equal to, and we're going to compare a greater than. So I'm going to start since we got one here. Um, we're going to have Boolean. Um, I'm going to do the less than version. I'm going to store this answer because if I don't store it, it's not going to print out. So I'm not doing the display and compare in the same step. We're going to do the display later. So I'm going to store the answer to this. So I'm going to compare num1 and less than num2. So it's going to store the answer whether or not it's true or false with less than. And I'm going to display the answer. So we're going to say um, system out to print. So we're going to do uh, num1. Oops, I don't need quotes. I want to grab whatever num1 is typed in. And then I will put quotes and then a space and less than a space and then. Num to, oops, I forgot a plus sign there. We're concatenating these, right? Um, and then another concatenation of colon space. Um, num1 plus num2 with all 
less than sign, and what do I want to add to it? My answer, my Boolean answer from less than. Okay, let's see how that looks. I'm going to run code. Try this out. Enter two numbers, 5 and 12. Okay, it's true. Okay, so we can check code, see what all we've got, see what's missing. Um, I kind of like that feature. Sometimes it doesn't always know. Um, oh, that's being slow. All right, I'm going to jump to the other one. You can probably finish that puppy up. All right, so this next one is about how many grams of sugar you've eaten. Um, I'm going to start off with, I already did the new scanner because we just did that a second ago. Um, so I'm going to prompt them to ask how many grams of sugar have you eaten today? Question. Okay. Um, I like to shrink this down so I can see more of it. Semicolon. Okay, so we're going to ask and then we're going to store our answer. So our answer is going to be probably an integer, right? Int input um, uh, no, I want to name this uh, grams, maybe equals input dot next int okay Right, so we're getting used to using that scanner. I like it a lot because it's more interactive. So then we just need a string here, right? And then a Boolean checking if they are. So I'm going to leave that up to you to do because this is the whole point is doing the Boolean stuff. So use a comparison. Read this up here um, with the 30 grams as cutoff point, and you can create a Boolean statement for that one finish it off, you'll be able to tell in the test case if you did or not. All right, on to the next one. So this last one here is about the triple-double in basketball, um, where you get three different categories of statistics with 10 points. Um, I think Brian Westbrook set the record for a number of triple-doubles in a season. Um, so we are going to, I'm going to, they already gave us the scanner item with input. I'm going to take a minute and pause this and do the prompts for how many you got for our three stats so we don't have to sit through here while I do that. Okay, so I took a second. Let me make this bigger. I took a second and prompted each one of these questions. I stored them as integers. I named them each a different variable, points, rebs, and assist. Okay, um, now we're going to create three Boolean value variables that check if they're 10 or more. So I want to know if they got double digits in points. So we're going to make a Boolean um, for uh, double points. Okay. How about 10 points? 10 points. So we're going to make a Boolean whether or not they got 10 or more points. So we're going to say, we're going to compare these, right? So their thing here is points. That's what it's stored as. So I'm going to put is points greater than or equal to 10. Okay. Now you could just put greater than nine, right? If we're doing integers, you could do that, but I like greater than or equal to. And you're going to do the same thing for your other ones. And then you're going to print out your results pretty similar to the last one. You're going to say uh, right, I'm going to say uh, you got 10 or more Ooh. points. And this is before we get our if statements and stuff. Um, concatenate that with my boolean because I don't want to have to figure it out every time. I'm storing my answer to this true or false as 10 points. Um, I think that's good. And then you could finish the rest of them. All right, I can run the code, see if it worked, see if I messed up anything. It's always good to check. How many points did I score? 12. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
just want to see if it works on the false one. Uh, negative three. Oh, I scored four points. There. Okay, so it's working. All right, you can finish that up. These are pretty easy, but I'm going to be excited when we get to the if-thens, because right now we're dealing with booleans. But you got to be good at booleans if you're going to be good at ifs and while loops and for loops and stuff. So this should be pretty easy for you. All right, talk to you later, folks.